So in the last lesson we very quickly looked at IA Ray and now we're going to look at the latest art renderer here from Autodesk. So we can simply enable the art renderer going to the render setup dialog and choosing art renderer from the, the drop down menu. And then we have a very simple dialog which has simply got a noise threshold so we can whack the quality up to max for our final image but while we're just testing stuff out we can drop it down to draft and indeed, in the dialog here, I've got my HT, HTD video frame um, dropped down to 1287.20 just while I'm working to make things a little quicker. So next, we are going to create a physical camera. So this is the new physical camera inside for DS Max, which has got a ton of options. And again, to place it, we click where we want the camera to be and then drag out to where we want it to look. Press C to bring us back into the camera point of view. And once more I can dolly in. Uh, the only annoying thing is I can't now control the field of view with that button. So I have to uh, right click over here, select the camera, go to the modifier stack, and now I can control uh, the wide, the width of the lens, the size of the field of view by controlling the focal length like this. Hopefully we'll have to fix that in the future. Um, and, and lastly, I can select the camera target and just look upwards and drag myself into place like this. That's fine. So we have a camera and we've got the art renderer set up and now we need a light source. So the new setup for a daylight system is to use um, the sun positioner, which is very simple to use. Um, click down to place the compass, drag out for its compass size. Uh, once I let go, I get the option to place the compass direction like that. And I can click down, drag out the size of the sun manipulator, and then right click to end the operation like that. So that's my um, new daylight system placed, the sun positioner. Um, now, you see it doesn't have any intensity settings in here. And that's because under the hood, we've created some new toys in our environment. So let's have a look at that. So the camera has created this physical camera exposed control. Uh, so I click on the camera. Uh, you can see the exposure control is now controlled in camera over here. And I've got it set to 15 EV, which is great for daylight. And also we have a new um, physical sun and sky environment map. And you can look at that by opening the material edit over here. And we can just drag that into an empty slot. Let go. Make an instance so that any changes we make here are updated over here. And we can control our environment like that. So let's um, now go to a camera view and we'll just do a quick render. So you can see the daylight system has created a nice clear blue sky for us. Uh, but we can adjust that by changing the sun position. Let's rotate that around. And I can control the altitude of that by either using these setups or I'm just going to go to manual now and I can drop the altitude down. So we're just going to have a very low sun once more. Somewhat facing into camera, let's have a look at that. Cool. So I'm just going to tweak that once more to see if I can get the, uh, the sun in view, because it's more fun if I do that. So I'm going to try and get the sun line parallel to the camera line and just let's get that running again. Wait a little bit while it caches. Probably needs to be a bit lower than that's quickly selected from over here. Some positioner and we're gonna drop it down a bit more. Ah, oh, there it is, it's coming into view there. Q 
cool. So now I can see this and I can play with some of these values here. So we have the size of the disk and its glow intensity. I can also mess with the look of the sky by messing with the haze. So let's just whack that up a little bit. And you can see that gives us a much more polluted sky color. Let's just drop it down a bit more. Uh, we can mess with this a bit, so let's just whack the glow intensity right up to something a bit silly and see what happens. Bang! Brilliant. Okay, that's a good place to stop. Uh, a somewhat ridiculous sun uh, in a polluted sky, but uh, that's how to set up the physical sun and sky uh, using the new art renderer in 3ds Max.